Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, we continue talking about Apollonius problems. Now, the previous two lectures were very important. The first lecture actually talked about how to solve um, simple Apollonius problems. No, not really supposed to be even called Apollonius. Um, however, they are kind of prerequisites uh, for the real Apollonius problems when the circles are involved. Now, the second lecture was about inversion as a transformation of the points on the plane, which helps to transform circles into lines to help us to resolve these problems. Let me just make a very, very brief reminder um, about both first and the second lecture. The first lecture was about uh, constructing a circle um, which is um, either passing through points or is tangential to uh, lines. So we had four different problems. We had three points and uh, the way how you um, draw a circle to uh, pass through all these points is to have um, uh, segment by sectors. This and this, which is perpendicular to the line which connects these two. And that's why these lines, these segments would be the same. So that's when three points are. When you have two points and, uh, and a line, two points and a line, um, and you have to construct a circle which is tangential to the line and passing through these two points. Now, what um, what I have suggested was, if you remember, there is a theorem about this. Uh, let's say this is P, A, B, and this is C. That um, P, A times P, B is equal to P, C square. So basically that is a sufficient condition to find the PC. So if you connect A and B and continue until the intersection at point P with this line, you will find point P and then you calculate PC as a, a PA times PB. Um, and that is uh, can be done by, for instance, constructing a right triangle with this B and this will be PC. If this is AP and this is PB, then this will be square, PC square would be AP times PB. Um, now the third problem was uh, two lines and one point and um, two lines and one point. So what I have suggested was just construct any circle which is tangential to these two lines and stretch this circle into this. If this is all, this is P prime, let's say, and this is P then basically OP prime divided by OP is the same as OM prime divided by OM because these triangles are similar. So basically knowing OP prime and OP you can and OM because this is just a, a circle which we have chosen we can find the center. And the third, uh, sorry, the fourth problem was when all three are lines. So you have three lines here. And um, to inscribe a circle into a triangle, you basically use the angle bisectors. Now, obviously, you can do it externally as well, something like this, when you use these bisectors. All right, so these are simple problems. Inversion is not involved. There are no circles given only lines and points. Now then I have introduced the concept of inversion 
um, the most important part of it, well, after the definition, if you have a point P, this is O, this you find OP prime in such a way that OP uh, times OP prime equals to R squared, where R squared is the radius of this circle. And what's very important is that if you have some kind of a circle which is passing through um, the, uh, the center of inversion, let's say this circle, its image would be straight line perpendicular to diameter of this circle. We have proven that. So basically using the inversion you can um, convert a circle into a line. Now obviously if you have this circle passing through this point and this point has image somewhere so the line will pass through this point, right? Or, alternatively, if you have this circle uh, which is, let's say, tangential to this circle and in another theorem we have proven that any circle which is not passing through the center will be actually converted, transformed into a circle then the result will always be a circle tangential to, in this case, line. So this circle goes into a line, this circle goes into a circle, but the fact that they are tangential, which means they have only one point in common. Now, if they have only one point in common, then these will have one point in common. You can't avoid that, right? So that would be tangential lines. All right, so that's basically the facts. A uh, short uh, reminder of what we have learned before. And that's, um, and the inversion is something which we are going to use in these, well, now relatively simple problems. So the first problem is, so we'll talk about, <coughs> we'll talk about points and circles as given to us. And then we have to construct a circle which is tangential to these or passing through the points. So we have three elements which needs to be given. So let's say the first one is point, point, and, well, and point we have already discussed before when we were talking about points and lines. So let's just talk about circle. Point, point, and a circle. So we have to construct a circle which is passing through two points and is tangential to given circle. Let's say C. So this is the circle we have to construct. This is the circle which is given and points are also given. All right? Now, here is what I suggest to do. Let's take this particular point as a center of some kind of a uh, big circle. And what happens if I will transform relative to this um, circle, this is my inversion circle and this is my center of inversion. So what happens with this picture? Well, point A, it's a center of inversion, doesn't participate in anything. Point B would go somewhere here, B prime. Our circle will go into some circle here. whatever the circle is. And what happens with this line? Well, this line, in theory, will be, since it goes through the center of inversion, it would be a line, a straight line, but it will still go through uh, the point B prime, and it will still be tangential to a circle C prime, so that would be my line somewhere here. So, if I will transform this picture outside of this circle using conversion, point will go to point, circle to circle, and line would be an image of this circle which we have to construct. So, what does it mean? It means that if I will transform a point in this circle and will be able to draw a tangential line to a circle, then I can transfer everything back and that would be my solution. So, 
um, what remains to actually to discuss? Well, number one is how to construct a point which is inverted image of given point and how to construct a circle which is inverted image of a circle. Well, that's simple. Actually, we were talking many times about this. So we know that, for instance, AB times AB prime equals to R squared, where R is something which I know. That's the radius of this circle. That's my choice how to, use, how to choose the R. So we know AB, we know R, and all we have to do is AB prime, right? So AB divided by R is equal to R divided by AB prime, and this is what we have to construct, and this is a simple thing. You just have any angle. This is AB, and this is, and this is R, and this is R, and then if you have parallel line here and here, this would be AB prime from the similarity of these triangles, right? So all you need to do is to uh, have this segment AB, then segment R on both sides actually, because it's R and R here and here, and then draw a line parallel to this line, which is this. So that's why B star, B prime. This segment is the one which we need. So that's how you construct a image of the point. Now, how to construct image of a circle? Well, very simply, just go through the diameter, uh, go with the line which connects uh, my point A with the center. So you have diameter, so you have two points. So these two points can be separately transformed. This would be into this, and this would be into that somewhere. So you have two points as an, and, and have a circle uh, as uh, a circle constructed on the diameter. And the last but not least, how to construct a tangential line. Well, obviously we have already discussed this many times, but I will repeat. It's good exercise, and again, very simple one. Okay, so you have a circle, and you have a point, and this is a tangential line which needs to be constructed. Well, you know that this is the right angle, right? The radius to the point of tangency uh, makes the right angle with, with, the tangential, with, the, with, with the tangential line. So, which means what you can do is build a circle on AO as a diameter, because this is a locus of all points from which uh, segment AO is viewed at angle uh, 90 degree. So you have two interception, inter, uh, interception points. And these are two solutions, obviously. So this is one tangential line, and this is another tangential line. So that's basically it. So we had two points and the circle, and we have solved this problem using, let me repeat it again. First, you draw some kind of a big circle. You transform everything from, outside, from inside of the circle outside, both points and the circle. Draw a parallel, uh, draw a tangential line from a point to a circle, and then transform everything back. Well, not everything, just this line so, uh, you, you have to transform. Um, uh, how to transform a circle into a line that I did not really say so if you have this obviously this would be your uh, point which should be transformed back here using again the same uh, using the same um, technique which I was talking before about so you know AB prime in this case, and you know the radius, and you have to find AB. So that's simple. And then on AB as a diameter, you just draw a circle. And that's the circle which we need, and that's the circle which would be the solution of our problem.
Okay, now let's go to the next problem. So we had point, point, and circle. Now let's consider point, circle, and circle. It's actually as easy. So you have a circle, you have to construct a circle which is going through the point A and is uh, tangential to two circles, given circles. Let's say this is C, circle C, and this is circle D. Point C, point D. So we need to mm, uh, construct this thing. I suggest to do exactly the same. Let's have a big circle around the whole picture with a center A. Now, if A, if a is a center, then transform everything outside. So what will happen? This will be a circle. Circle C will go... This is D prime. Circle C will go into uh, a circle C prime. So now what you have to do is... Now this since it goes through a center of inversion, it will be a mutual tangential line. So we know everything about this except how to construct tangential line to two circles. Again, in some previous lectures we did discuss this problem. It's actually a very easy one. But after we construct this, we just transform everything back and that's the solution. So let me just stop for five seconds how to uh, construct a line which is tangent to two given circles. Well, let's consider you have this and this. And you have to construct this line. Okay? Now this is perpendicular, this is perpendicular, parallel to each other, right? So, Let's do it this way. Um, let's um, reduce. Now, if this is lowercase r, this is capital uh, R. Let's reduce this circle by lowercase r. Basically, what you have to do is draw a parallel line. And this will be a new, new radius. So, new radius would be r minus r. Capital R minus lowercase r, right? Because this is R, so this is R. So from capital R, we subtract lowercase. Now, what about this line? Well, since it's parallel to this one, it's per per perpendicular to this one, and obviously it's a tangential line to this circle, right? So, how the construction supposed to be working? So this is an, an, an analysis. So construction is, you have these two circle circles, just reduce one of them, by this radius, by the smaller one radius, then from the smaller center draw a tangential line, and we know before how to do it. So now all we have to do is draw this perpendicular here, parallel to this one here, and that's the tangential line for both of them. All right. Uh, that's all uh, for points and circles given. Uh, next lecture will be lines and circles and, uh, and then all of them, like one point, one line and one circle given. So that will be next, um, next lecture. Um, that's it. As you see, using the inversion, all these problems are really much simpler. All you have to do is to know how to transform um, from uh, inside of some circle outside the whole picture. Points and circles, whatever is given to you. Well, that's it for today. I suggest you to very thoroughly um, uh, examine whatever the material, whatever the notes for this lecture are on, on unisor.com and uh, uh, then just put it aside and try to prove everything just by yourself. And it would be very helpful if you remind yourself all these simple problems like how to uh, construct a, a tangent to a circle given the point and the circle, how to construct tangent to two circles um, and some other, for instance, how to divide an angle in two, how to divide a, sector, uh, a segment in two, 
uh, because all these are very elementary things and you just have to basically know it almost by heart. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much and good luck.